Hello guys, Brad on YouTube, and today I wanted to review a fragrance from the house of a Burberry called a Burberry Brit. This is a decant sample that Tony sent me. Code Horror is his uh, channel name. Thanks again, Tony. Um, I've been trying this fragrance out for about three straight days now. I'm really trying to get a good feel for this fragrance. Um, this came out in 2004. It was classified as an Oriental Woody. And uh, over base notes, 87 positives, 29 neutrals, and 32 negatives. The note breakdown on this one, we have um, mandarin, ginger, bergamot, and cardamom in the top notes. In the middle notes, we have nutmeg, cedar, and wild rose. And in the base, we finish off with tonka bean, patchouli, oriental woodsy notes, cedar, and gray musk. So, um, when I first applied this one to my skin, uh, just to get my first impression of it, I was really impressed with it. It had a very elegant, sophisticated smell. Kind of reminded me a little bit of Paul Smith Extreme in a way. It had that uh, British elegance to it. You know, um, has a spicy bergamot slash orange type smell to it. Um, the spices are very pleasant. The cardamom ginger, which uh, is a very commonly used spice accord in men's fragrances, and it's very pleasant. And those types of fragrances usually smell really good. Um, so, uh, yeah, the image I kind of get with this one is, picture you're uh, in England and you're doing some shopping in some quaint little town, and you kind of walk into a shop and they're selling, like, uh, all kinds of different things, but you notice a little table and there's this little tin canister, and you open it up and it's like a shaving talc, and it's got, like, uh, some crushed oranges and spices and maybe just a touch of uh, rose in there. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of the, the vibe I get from Burberry Brit. Just a very elegant, sophisticated, almost like a British um, sophistication, like uh, shaving talc type thing going on. Um, so, you know, my initial impressions of this fragrance were really good. Uh, and, you know, I thought the smell really rivaled that of Paul Smith Extreme, maybe even safer smelling than Paul Smith Extreme, because Paul Smith Extreme has like these uh, spices in there that some people might not care for, but you can't really get along with ginger and cardamom. Those are like very safe um, spices. Um, so I was like, wow, this is like a nine here, nine out of 10 in the smell. So uh, I applied it to my skin, you know, I wore it three days straight. Um, I was kind of struggling with this one. Um, I put this stuff on my neck, a couple sprays, and I don't know, sometimes I have trouble smelling it, especially after a couple hours. Um, so I try to over apply, and then you get like this very like uh, powdery cloud around your head, and that's you know not real pleasant either. So I was having a hard time just kind of striking a balance on how to apply this fragrance properly. Um, so overall, I'm going to give this one about a seven and a half. Uh, I think it is a very well done powder scent. Uh, if you're looking for a powder and you're over the age of 25, I think this would be a great one to try. Um, if you're under 25, you might want to try something like Armani Diamonds instead, which is like a more youthful, playful type fragrance with, with a powdery vibe. But uh, this one, I think, is more for the mature man. It doesn't have an old man smell to it, just a very elegant, mature smell, I think, uh, would be better. Like 25 to 40, that range. But, you know, anybody over 25 can certainly pull this off, I think. Under 25, uh, yeah, you could probably still pull it off if, if you want to smell, you know, mature. But, uh, you know, not necessarily old man-like. So, yeah, over 25 and up for age, I think. Um, as far as uh, the rose note goes, I don't really get a lot of rose here. I mean... It's very well blended with the other notes. Um, it might just add a touch of elegance. It doesn't really come across as feminine or floral to me. I can certainly get the powdery vibe, and maybe that's why some people don't like it, because of uh, the powdery-ness of it. But uh, it doesn't really come across as feminine. So also, if you uh, want to try a fragrance that uses rose notes, this would be a great one to, to pick up and, and try out, because uh, the rose... Is very well blended here. It's not an extreme rose type thing where it's going to smell uh, very feminine or anything. So some people still think it's feminine. I, I see it as uh, strictly masculine myself. I uh, would recommend, yeah, if you want a powdery vibe, 
Uh, personally, I don't think I would buy the bottle, but a five or ten milliliter bottle would be nice to have uh, for um, like the winter time, especially. I can see this being maybe like a top ten for winter fragrance for me, maybe around the eight or nine spot. Um, maybe wear it a couple times a month during December, January, February. Um, so not bad, guys. Um, one of the better ones that I've tried lately. Uh, like I said, I do have some trouble just finding a balance when I apply it. Um, it. It really seems to go from overly strong to overly weak in a very quick amount of time uh, when I try this one out. I'm not sure if anybody else has had that happen to them, if it was just a fluke with me or whatever, but uh, um, but the smell itself is, is quite well done. So those are my thoughts on Burberry Brit. I hope that helps you out, guys, and I'll talk to you later.